Good evening and welcome to Compline for the fifth Sunday after Trinity on behalf of St Mary's Church Peterborough with Stuart and Elizabeth. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray, that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night, tread underfoot our deadly foe, that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Psalm 4 Answer me when I call, O God of my righteousness. You set me at liberty when I was in trouble. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. How long will you nobles dishonour my glory? How long will you love vain things and seek after falsehood? But know that the Lord has shown me his marvellous kindness. When I call upon the Lord, he will hear me. Stand in awe and sin not. Commune with your own heart upon your bed and be still. Offer the sacrifices of righteousness. And put your trust in the Lord. There are many that say, who will show us any good? Lord, lift up the light of your countenance upon us. You have put gladness in my heart. More than when their corn and wine and oil increase. In peace I will lie down and sleep. For it is you, Lord, only who make me dwell in safety. And Psalm 60. O God, you have cast us off and broken us. You have been angry. Restore us to yourself again. You have shaken the earth and torn it apart. Heal its wounds, for it trembles. You have made your people drink bitter things. We reel from the deadly wine you have given us. You have made those who fear you to flee. To escape from the range of the bow. That your beloved may be delivered. Save us by your right hand and answer us. God has spoken in his holiness. I will triumph and divide Shechem and share out the valley of Succoth. Gilead is mine and Manasseh is mine. Ephraim is my helmet and Judah my scepter. Moab shall be my washpot. Over Edom will I cast my sandal. Across Philistine will I shout in triumph. Who will lead me into the strong city? Who will bring me into Edom? Have you not cast us off, O God? Will you no longer go forth with our troops? Grant us your help against the enemy. For earthly help is in vain. Through God we will do great acts. For it is he that shall tread down our enemies. And Psalm 134.
Come, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord. You that by night stand in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands towards the sanctuary. And bless the Lord. The Lord who made heaven and earth. Give you blessing out of Zion. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and, and shall be forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from 1 Peter, chapter 5. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, is prowling round, like a roaring lion, seeking for someone to devour. Resist him, strong in the faith. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation. Which you have prepared in the sight of every people. A light to reveal you to the nations. And the glory of your people Israel. Glory, glory to, to the, the Father, and, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit. Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and shall be forever. forever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Let us pray. Blessed are you, eternal God, to be praised and glorified forever. Hear us as we pray for your holy Catholic Church. Make us all one, that the world may believe. Grant that every member of the Church may truly and humbly serve you, that the life of Christ may be revealed in us. Strengthen all who minister in Christ's name. Give them courage to proclaim your Gospel. Inspire and lead those who hold authority in the nations of the world. Guide them in the ways of justice and peace. Make us alive to the needs of our community. Help us to share each other's joys and burdens. Look with kindness on our homes and families. Grant that your love may grow in our hearts. Deepen our compassion for all who suffer from sickness, grief or trouble. In your presence may they find their strength. We remember those who have died. Father, into your hands we commend them. We praise you for all your saints who have entered your eternal glory. Bring us all to share in your heavenly kingdom. Amen. And the Collect for the Fifth Sunday after Trinity. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose Spirit the whole body of the Church is governed and sanctified, hear our prayer which we offer for all your faithful people, that in their vocation and ministry they may serve you in holiness and truth to the glory of your name, through our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who wake, or watch, or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, give rest to the weary, 
sustain the dying, calm the suffering, and pity the distressed. For all your love's sake, O Christ our Redeemer. Amen. Amen. Visit this place, O Lord, we pray, and drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us and guard us in peace, and may your blessing be always upon us, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus. For the night is at hand, and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord Look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. Amen.